This is the world's fastest car, and it has more than 100,000 horsepower. It's so fast that it's capable of traveling faster than the speed of sound, but more on this a little later. However, it's called the Thrust SSC, and if you stand next to it when it flies by, the sonic boom from it breaking the speed of sound might kill you. And if that doesn't, your bank account for sure will, because every minute it costs around $8,000 to drive. So if you want to drive from California to New York, it would cost you around $2 million. This is because it has two Rolls-Royce jet engines strapped to the body of the car, producing around 102,000 horsepower. But how fast is it? Well, to understand that, we compare it to a normal Tesla Model Y. The Tesla Model Y is the most sold car in the world in 2023, so you should know it. It has an electric motor which outputs an impressive 456 horsepower. That means you would need 224 Tesla Model Y combined to get the same horsepower than the Thrust SSC. Does that mean the Thrust SSC is 224 times faster than a Tesla? I'll show you the comparison. This is a Tesla Model Y with normal speed. And this is a Tesla with the video sped up 224 times. Is it humanly even possible to go that fast? Before we can answer that, there were five other tries to break the ultimate speed record. Number five, Venturi Buckeye Bullet 3. With a top speed of 482 kilometers per hour, the Venturi Buckeye Bullet 3, or VBB3 for short, is like a rocket on wheels. It's an electric car designed by some really smart engineers and scientists. They made it to break records and show the world how fast electric cars can go. You know, VBB3 is all about setting speed records. It's like when you try to run as fast as you can, but this car is so much faster than anyone running. One time, VBB3 raced on a special track called the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah, USA. The Salt Flats are flat and smooth, perfect for fast cars to zoom along, and zoom it did. VBB3 reached a mind-blowing speed of over 482 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's faster than a lot of airplanes fly. The team behind VBB3 worked really hard to make it aerodynamic which means they designed it to be very streamlined so it can slip through the air with less resistance. Just like how a fish swims smoothly through water, VBB3 cuts through the air like a champion. All the speed records VBB3 has broken show how amazing electric cars can be. But how much faster would it be if it was with diesel? Number 4. JBC Diesel Max the JBC Diesel Max is not like regular cars you see on the road. It's a special car built to go super fast. But you know what makes it even more special? It doesn't use regular gasoline like most cars. Nope, it runs on something called diesel. Now, imagine this car racing on a super long track, trying to reach the highest speed possible. It's like a race against the wind. And guess what? The JBC Diesel Max is so fast that it once broke the land speed record for diesel-powered cars. The record it set was over 563 kilometers per hour. It's like zooming through the sky, but on the ground. The team behind the JBC Diesel Max worked really hard to make it super sleek and aerodynamic. They wanted to show the world that diesel-powered cars can be fast and cool, and they definitely proved it with the Diesel Max. The next car is just 200 kilometers per hour faster. Number three, Challenger 2. With an impressive 722 kilometers per hour, the Challenger 2 is a special car made to go really, really fast. It's designed to break records for speed on a special place called the Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah, USA. The salt flats are perfect for racing because they are flat and smooth. And it has a powerful engine with two turbochargers that use a special kind of fuel to make it go super fast. The main goal of the Challenger 2 is to break land speed records. It has made many attempts at the Bonneville Salt Flats to reach incredibly high speeds over the years. There's a special connection to history with this car. Danny Thompson's dad, Mickey Thompson, tried to break records too with a car called the Challenger One Inch a long time ago. Even though it didn't work out back then, the spirit of the project continues with Danny and the Challenger 2. 
But now we come to the second fastest car ever. Number two, Vesco Turbinator 2. With an impressive 810 kilometers per hour, the Vesco family has a long history of racing really speedy cars, and they love pushing the limits of how fast they can go. This car is built just for land speed racing, and it's designed to be super aerodynamic. Stability is also very important, so the car is made to stay steady even when going incredibly fast. The coolest part of the Turbinator 2 is its powerful engine called a turbine engine. This engine is famous for being super powerful and efficient. The specific type of turbine engine they use might change, but it's what helps the car achieve its incredible speeds. They race at a place called the Bonneville Salt Flats. It's a special track where they time how fast the car goes over a certain distance, and that's how they decide who holds the record. Land speed racing is all about getting better and better. But what if I told you the next car goes way beyond 810 kilometers per hour with a car? Would you believe it? Number one, Thrust SSC. Wait for it. The average for the two runs was 763 miles an hour. But more important, they were both faster than the speed of sound. Andy Green had shattered the sound barrier. Thrust SSC was a super cool car with a very special goal. It wanted to break the land speed record and become the first car to go faster than the speed of sound on land. Can you imagine how fast that is? The car was designed and built by Richard Noble and his team, who worked really hard to make it super fast and stable. They made it look sleek and long to go smoothly through the air, like a rocket. Thrust SSC was powered by two super powerful jet engines, which are usually used in military airplanes. These engines gave the car a lot of thrust, like a big push, so it could go incredibly fast. The brave pilot who drove the car during the record-breaking run was called Andy Green. He became the very first person to travel faster than the speed of sound in a car. Safety was really important, so the team made sure the car had lots of protection for the driver. They did many tests and simulations to make sure everything was safe during the high-speed run. And guess what? The record set by Thrust SSC in 1997 is still unbroken. It's one of the most impressive records in the history of land speed racing. On October 15th, 1997, Thrust SSC achieved a speed of over 763 miles per hour. Subscribe to get faster McDonald's delivery.